So I'm going to show you how to bring your Inkscape shapes into Photoshop. Um, we're going to do this because then we can use those shapes to kind of, if you want to call it paint by numbers, um, we can use those shapes to cut, if you want to call it that, that's the best way to explain it, cut our GFRs. And so we can take those color palettes, you know, our GFRs, and then we can use our Inkscape shapes to, um, you know, cut them out and apply them so that they fit exactly onto our onto our course, our satellite overlay. It's when we take it into Unity, things line up perfectly. So uh, let me show you how I do this. Uh, so first of all, let's go into Inkscape and I just have my um, my uh, Inkscape shapes here for my entire course. And what I'm gonna do is, so we created GFRs for fairways, for greens and for rough. And then we did that rock as well. So those are the four shapes that I, I'm at least initially going to do. I might want to do some other stuff as well. But if you understand this process, um, you can understand how to do these shapes and, and pull them into Photoshop. Then depending on what you're trying to accomplish, you can do follow this similar process. So let's do fairways first. Now in this course, I end up getting rid of my semi-rough although I see I still have one here. Um, let me just get rid of that while I remember to. There's a semi right there. Yeah, delete. Um, so let's do fairways first, and let me show you how to do this in Inkscape. It's actually pretty easy, as long as you, if you knew what, was, what I'm about to do. Well, let me show you, pretty simple. I'm gonna select one of my fairways here. You can see there's a, a chunk of this fairway. I'm gonna go up here to edit, select same fill color and now when i do that all of the fairways everything that's kill, uh, filled with that fairway fill is now selected so the next thing i do is come back up here to edit um, and i'm going to do invert selection so now everything but my fairways are selected i'm going to come over here i'm going to right click and hide selected objects and now you can see what is left is just my fairway shapes, okay? And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go up here to File, Export, and I'm gonna export this as width and height of 8192, so make sure you change these two fields if it's not available. You can leave the DPI the same, and I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna click on this little folder, and I'm going to Browse, to my wherever I create and I'm storing my sat shader files. So I did my Rock Creek sat shader files. And I'm going to call this my fairways. And I can just overwrite this. I already have it in here, but I'm just going to replace it. So now I have a PNG of my fairways. Um, and now let me come back into Photoshop. And I'm going to create a new group. Now I have my GFRs hidden, but they're still there. Okay, so here are all my GFRs. I just collapsed this to make things a little bit easier to view, so keep things simple. I'm gonna create another folder. I'm gonna call this Ink Scape Shapes. And right now this is empty. Uh, let me turn my GFRs off. And now I'm gonna create another um, layer here. And let me call this Fairways. And I'm going to go to the folder where I put my fairway, I exported that out of um, Inkscape. So under my sat shader folder here, I had a thing called, where is it? Fairways, right here. And I'm gonna drag this guy onto my scene. And remember, I, was, I had my fairways layer selected here, so I'm putting it on this layer. And you can see if I back up a little bit, it's just kind of sitting there in the middle of my canvas. So I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna make sure that my height and width isn't locked. So now it's locked, I'm gonna make sure it's unlocked. I'm gonna take this corner, and I'm gonna drag it till it snaps up here, boop. And I'm gonna take this bottom corner, and when I see that say 8192, like that, 8192 by 8192, I know I'm good. I'm gonna come up here, and I'm going to commit that change with the checkbox. And now I have my fairways, and you can see if I zoom in here, <clears throat> they're perfectly placed, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing with some of the other layers. So I'm gonna pause the video, do the other layers, I'm gonna show you the end result. All right, so here's all the layers I did. I followed that same procedure I just showed you. So I did a, I did a deep rough, which is, um, actually, let me hide, 
going to show you each layer. So my deep rough wasn't my whole 99. It was just any deep rough that I had assigned in the course itself. Not sure if I'm going to use this or not. We'll find out with some time. Um, and you, you don't have to bring everything in from Inkscape. It's going to be one of those things as you go through this, and you can always bring things in later on as you need them, okay? But there's my deep rough, which has some things, some specific deep rough areas in the course. I do have my greens in there, so you can see my greens. I got my rock uh, formations, my, my cliffs, so I imported those. There are my fairways. And there's my rough areas of my course as well. Um, again, I'm not sure if I'm going to use that or not, but I have it in there. Um, another thing, keep in mind that you can also combine areas together pretty easily in Inkscape. You can use the Boolean functions. So like if you want to have your, your fairways and greens be one layer, you could always do that in Inkscape. And there's things we can do in Photoshop to select multiple layers as well when we're doing this. Um, but I just wanted to show you how I bring in these Inkscape shapes. And as you go through this process and you figure out in your head what you want to accomplish here, you're going to be able to figure out what Inkscape shapes you want to bring in as well. Um, but we're going to move on to the next videos where we're going to use these Inkscape shapes to manipulate our GFRs.